we are going to talk about probably the most famous example of one of those. It had... It... Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be quite a shorty because it's going to be quite easy actually, but really important. We are going to talk about the exponential function today and its serious representation because this is one of many definitions of the exponential function. Okay, so we want to find out the Maclaurin series expansion of e to the x. You could say. So let's write out what we have. So we want to represent e to the x as just an infinite sum running from 0 to infinity of, well, the nth derivative of this function at the point 0 over n factorial times x to the nth power, where our f, you can say, is just exp, the exponential function of x. And the only hard thing to find out is really how our function is going to act when differentiated infinitely many times and then being evaluated at the point zero. But luckily we are dealing with the exponential function. So what's the first derivative of the exponential function? Well d dx of e to the x by one of its many definitions, for example as a uh, differential equation, is just e to the x. But what is the second derivative? of e to the x. Well, since this is linear, this is just the derivative of, well, the derivative of e to the x. But we know this is just e to the x. So we have d dx of e to the x. But, well, this is just e to the x. And you can continue this process infinitely many times, but you're going to note something that the nth derivative of e to the x is going to result in e to the x. So we already know now by the definition of the exponential function being when differentiated, it's the function itself. We already know that this is just going to be the function itself. But what is the nth derivative evaluated at the point zero right here? Well, what is going to happen if you plug zero into here? Well, this is just going to be e to the zero of power all the time. But this is nothing but one. Yeah, it's, it's as easy as it is. So this thing is really easy to derive. So we know that no matter what derivative you evaluate at the point zero, it's always going to be one. So that means the Maclaurin series expansion of e to the x is just going to be the infinite sum running from zero to infinity of, well, x to the nth power over n factorial. And we have used this oh so many times already. But now we are done. We have derived this and I'm going to provide you later in the game with a really cool proof that this thing right here is indeed equivalent to definition of the exponential function in terms of a differential equation. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. You know what I'm going to say. Support the channel if you like. Just watch my videos. It's already fine. And up until next video, have a flammy boy day. See ya. Vor allem